हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक्नेट गाइड फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू डू पॉलिसी कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इन सिस्को एफ टी फायर पावर वाया एफ एम सी फायर पावर मैनेजमेंट सेंटर सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट पॉलिसी फॉर डिफरेंट जोन ओके सो फ्रेंड्स यू कैन सी दिस इज माई इन साइड जोन एंड दिस इज माई डी एम जेड जोन ओके वी हैव टू विलन विलन टेन एंड विलन ट्वेंटी वेब सर्वर फाइल सर्वर नाउ वी हैव आउटसाइड जोन इंटरनेट हीयर आई टी आर राउटर सो वी विल प्ले विथ पॉलिसी हीयर वी विल सी हाउ टू अलाउ और ब्लॉक सम पोर्ट्स लाइक वी विल ब्लॉक पोर्ट हीयर एस टी पी वी कैन ब्लॉक एंड वी कैन अलाउ पोर्ट एस टी पी वी कैन सो फ्रेंड्स इन एफ टी डी लेट मी शो यू माई आई पी एड्रेसेज सो यू कैन सी माई आई पी एड्रेसेज ईयर इंटरफेसेज टेन डॉट ऑन डॉट ऑन जीरो दिस इज माई आई पी एड्रेसेज ओके सो नाउ वी विल कॉन्फिगर पॉलिसी फ्रॉम एफ एम सी सो लेट्स गो इन एफ एम सी ईयर सो यू कैन सी दिस इज माई फायर पावर मैनेजमेंट सेंटर सो फ्रेंड्स यू कैन सी आई हैव क्रिएटेड ए पॉलिसी फॉर टेस्टिंग पर्पज Let me show you. I am able to ping here from. I will show you my connectivity from inside LAN PC to like uh, internet. I do it. I do it. Okay, I am able to ping now. Ten dot ten. Okay, I will to ping. Now we will play with some policy here like. Uh, telnet we will allow and block some ports like you can see i'm able to access okay so we can we can block telnet and allow ssh okay so let's see how to do so you can see this is my default policy i have created i will delete this okay is for testing purpose actually now click on save so how to create policy let me show you so you can see i have created my acp access control policy you can create also new policy here like some on other name like hq policy sorry headquarter policy okay like that okay or non you by default default action will be block all traffic or on which firewall you are to assign f t d one if you if you have multiple firewall here you can assign that okay so click on save yes so you can see h q policy we have created here now friends you can see here this is my default policy s s l policy identity policy will do later first of all you have to see basic policy here friends we can create add rule from here click on add for new policy so this policy will be inside to outside we will allow only http okay so before that let me show you a dot a dot a dot it okay you can see port is open now let's try it port number 80 http port is open okay so we will allow only and let's try to ping a dot a dot eight. So, friends, I will block SSH and telnet, and will allow only will allow only HTTP and ICMP. Okay. So, in inside to outside. Okay. So, my source zone will be inside, and destination will be outside. Okay. Source inside, destination outside. network so you can see my source network private network inside network is 10.0 and outside network like uh, any for outside any okay outside any gason ports so okay now on port we will allow only http so we will allow only 
destination will be http and https okay now in login section we have to log at the end now click on add so friends in this policy now also we have to create uh, now let's check click on save and deploy the policy now we'll see here now deployment is running now press policy deployment successful done now go to now friends let's try from this pc to access this one okay now let's first try to ping here a dotted so you can see we have blocked so friends you can see we have blocked icmp traffic okay so you can see here only we have allow http and https so let's try to access with telnet actually port 80 let's see is open or not so you can see port 80 is open okay so now try port 21 it's blocked now friends we will create policy here from our inside zone to villain 10 we will allow http and rather than other port will be blocked like telnet will block and here we will allow only tftp and icmp okay because this is my file server so i will allow tftp and icmp okay so let's play this policy so let's create here go to fmc so for inside to dmg So create policy here from inside to DMZ villain 10 villain 10 web server okay villain 10 web server we will allow only HTTP and ICMP okay so allow inside to destination will be dmz okay now what we have to allow we have to allow http and icmp network what is network here for our uh, inside network is 10.0 and dmz network will and 10 add object like network for villain 10 villain 10 network is 172 16 10.0 less 24 okay click on save now and then villain 10 okay click on destination now now friends click on port so You have to allow here port like HTTP and HTTPS. Sorry, in source and destination. Destination port will be FTP, HTTPS, HTTPS, and ICMP. ICMP. So print ICMP is not seen here. So we have to create new port object like icmp okay select icmp here any click on save valid name and conflict okay icmp port okay click on save now we have to icmp add to destination okay now click on add in now logging select here log at the end click on add now friends we have to create rule for villain 20 you can see villain 20 we have to allow only tftp and icmp okay so 
so add rule inside zone to destination destination will be dmz and network my inside is 10.0 and destination will be we have to create billion 20 network add object select network now billion 20 okay 172 16 20 dot 0 slash 24 now click on save now in destination we have to select here billion 20 now go to ports here so what port you have to allow for file server because this is my file server here okay so we have to allow only tftp so ICMP in destination and TFTP TFTP ok now click on add sorry rule name ok inside to DMZ file server ok now click on next now logging logging at the end click on add okay so friends now you can see we have created this rule from inside to outside only we have allow http and https from inside to dmz web server we have we have only allow http and https for web server other port we have blocked now for file server inside to dmz file server we have allow only ICMP and TFTP ok ok now click on save here friends now deploy policy select a firewall so you can see development is running task success let it complete this so friend let's complete this deployment after deployment we will check ok so friends you can see development is successful now let's go to here from inside so let's try to access ping so friend let's ping first so you can see we have allow only http and ismp so let's try to ping here first ismp ping to 16 10.0.10 so you can see able to ping here now let's try to check ICMP telnet telnet 172.16.10.10 port 80 let's check here port 80 yes this opened here so we have opened this port now try 21 telnet so you can see it's blocked here okay so let's try to ping villain 10 file server then we'll do a tftp okay let's try to ping 172 16.20.10 so you can see able to ping here repeat 10 now let's try to check ICMP TFTP so you can see friends if we have copy this file we have to there is a file okay we have to copy this file here to our file okay file name mm -mm -mm. copy TFTP to class okay now what will be IP address of my TFTP my TFTP IP address is you can see so my tftp ip address is this one okay so let's send to 16 20.10 okay source file name source file name is let me show you okay cisco dir 
slash so source file name is file server config this one okay so friends source file name will be paste here now press enter enter confirm confirm so you can see file then copied from here ttp server is working okay so let's see telnet block for this server or not let's try to telnet 172 16 20 to 10 so you can see telnet is blocked not working so you can see telnet is not working so friend let's try tftp server for web server okay so friends in this video we have seen how to configure policy in FTD and how to configure pre-filter policy also so thanks for watching this video have a nice day